Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on wizard number two, um, and we are going to be doing level 40 to level 51 solo camps and one quad camp, because honestly, around this level, all the way to 51 is just a bear to quad kite. You are pretty much sustaining yourself as far as quads on a level 34 spell that does 216 damage. So this is why a lot of my camps are just straight up single mob, root, kill, and so on. First one is Hap Dremblenod in Lesser Fade Arc. She's level 32 plus. She's just right outside of Steve Haunt and uh, the NPCs within the buildings do not add with her. So it is really an easy camp. The first time you kill her, root the pet, then root her, and kill her as fast as you can. Uh, usually can three conflagrations, or if you um, if you notice, I, I really, uh, in this specific video, of course, can't see her hit points, but most likely I could have finished her off with an Ice Shock, which is the previous level Ice spell. So that is, that is the way you would probably want to go with her. Rarely ever anyone here, so easy camp to get. So if you want to do that, then just come over here and, and kill her. I, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Next is Blood Gills. These guys are probably the easiest of all the mobs. They only have 1300 hit points. Again, I say Conflagration three times, but honestly, you could do Conflagration two times and then Ice Shock for the third one. Again, can't see the hit points, so I just went full on out to get the mobs killed. Uh, this is the level 44 spells, because Conflagration is level uh, 44. Again, for um, for the previous mob, uh, um, Hap, she can be killed at level 40 uh, with Ice Shock. It just takes a little bit more time. Uh, also, I wanted to show killing once you get to level 49, because this is actually going to save you some mana by just doing one Ice Comet and one Ice Shock. Honestly, you don't even have to root because it's going to automatically run after you cast Ice Comet. Uh, I do it for my safety because you never know. She might run over to the right and get that mob. Maybe I don't have enough mana for that. I personally like to preserve myself <laughs> in these situations. Quad kiting. It is the love and bane of our existence as wizards. It's one of those things that you get told sometimes whenever you're looking for groups. Why aren't you just going out and quad kiting? Well, maybe because we don't get a spell between level 34 and level 51, guys. I mean, come on. We don't get a Lumi staff at level 46 that we can click and clack all over the place. It's <laughs> we actually have to cast spells. Uh, but anyway, um, the way you want to start here is at level 40, you probably want to just do Lightfoots. Uh, play around with it, maybe pull a Watcher or two. Provens are the higher end of the hit point scale, which, uh, I mean, if you want to, I did speed this up a little bit so you can see how many times I cast to get them down. Also, something you want to play with is how long does uh, Bonds of Force last for you? Because for me, it lasts until they're around 40, 30 to 40% health. For you, it may be 50% health. Uh, it really just depends on how much mana you have and how long it takes you to, to kill them. Uh, I try to get them uh, root, uh, snared and casting as soon as I can so I can just keep casting over and over. Uh, but for each individual, each individual's mana, it's going to be absolutely different. So I would I'd probably think about that whenever you're doing this. Again, it is a horrible um, life, this level 34 spell. So try to get through it as best as you can. Uh, also, the reason I added in the, um, the two uh, previous solo spots uh, also, the reason I added in um, Hap specifically is because you can kill her until level uh, 50. She does start to drop off at 50, but uh, a lot of people don't have Enduring Breath items, so that's also why I wanted to add in uh, her, because she is uh, absolutely who I was soloing to 50 uh, whenever the Blood Gills were camped. So I would 
bind myself at the blood gills and then go and kill her. And then, um, I would check back probably every hour or so until the blood gills are open. And that's just how, how I did everything. Uh, also I would AFK over at the ogres. So the last person I want to talk about, uh, I wouldn't even really suggest doing even at 49 plus she is a pain in the butt. She's uh, Cinderella. Um, if you can get her killed the first time, um, what I would suggest is just straight up ice comet right off the bat. I did this wrong, uh, or I did ice comet straight off the bat. That's good. Um, but you may also want to try a tactic of snaring both her and her pet, but really that's not going to help you. She gets to you really quickly. She has high resistance to root. So try to get her pet rooted first. Uh, don't even waste the mana on her and just face tank, uh, the ice comet until she's dead. She takes two ice comets to kill her. Just get her dead as fast as you can. I think, uh, whenever I ended the recording, I had probably around 40% health left over <laughs> just because of her dots and the fact she hits for 80 80 plus but thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed maybe this helped you out on what you're going to be doing as you get higher level this has been cypher deck peace out